Uh, joining us now is a man who actually got AJ Hawk into the gates. Wow. Yeah. Onto the premise mm -hmm. of Augusta this past weekend. Ooh. Legend on the football field and in life, ladies and gentlemen, softball stud. Yeah. Jordy Nelson. Yeah. yeah. Jordy. Attaboy, Jordy. How you doing, pal? I'm doing good. How you guys doing? Hey, thank you so much for joining us. We got a couple questions, obviously, about the weekend. Now, we can talk football, and we do appreciate your brain and football and everything like that, and we can't thank you enough for your time here. This past weekend, was there ever a moment on Augusta there when AJ was just kind of lost that you thought to yourself, like, where did AJ go? <laughs> or were you just so locked into the Masters you didn't even realize it till about 7, 8 o'clock at night? No, I wonder where he went. I was uh... – I still don't have the answer, I guess, but uh, I waited at the driving range for him to come back, and then I finally gave up and said, I'm sitting at the Masters at a driving range right now. I'm going to go start watching golf. So, like, uh, I think you guys had already talked about, there weren't very many people there, so I assumed we'd run into each other somehow, but come to find out, he sat at two holes that I never walked by. So I walked 90% of the course, but not the 10% he was sitting at. <laughs> Well, Jordy, I did walk around a little bit. Did you follow? So we had Will on earlier. Pat can say his last name for you. The guy that got second place. It's a ladderish. <laughs> there you go. I followed him for a while. Were you guys near him at all in the back nine? I feel like I followed him for like six or seven holes. <laughs> These guys went together to the Masters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how we didn't run into each other. Um, I watched his last part of it. Um, we were sitting on Amen Corner when they turned um, and came down the back nine. So, um <clears throat> That's where I was sitting for the last part of it. I'd followed Gary Woodland um, to begin with because he's a Kansas kid. Mm. So I wanted to watch him play some golf. And then, let's see here, then I followed Bubba Watson for a little bit. Her Being days. a lefty, wanted to watch, you know, an incredible lefty play some golf. Me too, yeah. Yes. And then um, what else? Then I think when he got done, Spieth was coming up on nine. And then we jumped and watched Spieth birdie nine, birdie ten. Uh, kind of made a little bit of a run there, but um, I was right yeah, there. I was right there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jordy, I was right there. I was with Spieth at that moment. We had to be. We probably could have touched each other. Oh, you guys got those masks so though. You can't see each yeah. other. No mm -hmm. phones. You don't even know. Jordy, are you a? That's a shame, by the way. That could have happened. You guys could have mm -hmm. maybe. Kind I thought of about just yelling, Jordy. <laughs> he's, the only, he's the only guy named Jordy there. So well, it out. you know, after Spieth hits, you yell, Jordy. You know, you could kind of blend in with Jordan. Yeah. yeah. And then maybe that could have been a moment there. Uh, Jordy, you big golf guy. I did, are you a big golf fan? How's your game? Pretty good. Uh, it's getting better. Um, I, pro my, I probably play around bogey golf is what I try to shoot. So um, some days it's a little bit better. Some days it's a little bit worse. You love golf, though, yeah? I enjoy playing it, yes. It's, uh, I think it's the endless challenge. Um, I don't think you'll ever hit a, you know, play a perfect ground. I think you even listen to the guys on the tour. Um, they'll shoot like 64 and be like, yeah, it could have been better. So um, it's just a challenge and good time to be outside with some friends. Do you think your softball career helps or hurts your golf game? Because I've heard you're top five in the world in softball yep. right now. I think it hurts the softball game or it hurts the golf game. Are you? So I said you're top five softball player in the world, and you did, didn't, didn't even you didn't even, yeah, even right. didn't even say anything. <laughs> are you? Are you an elite? And if you're in Jacksonville, I guess are you on the edge when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to softball? Are you like are you a, that guy on the diamond out there? No, probably not. You love it though, yeah. Play a lot. No, we play. Uh, we don't play as much as we used to. We play in a lot of uh, small town tournaments, co-ed softball. So uh, me and my brother and our wives, my sister, and then some friends. Uh, just ten of us go out there and uh, play in some small town tournaments that um, we kind of. I honestly grew up watching my parents play in, so it's kind of fun to go back to those small towns and play in the same tournaments that we were kids running around out in the outfield or outside the fence catching home run balls and stuff. AJ, correct me if I'm wrong. I saw a video of Jordy chasing down cows. Yeah, Jordy, what was that? Can you explain it? And also, <laughs> we, we plan on being there next year. Would like to be at that. Okay. Um, yeah, so my brother is obviously a rancher, farmer, and – He's gotten into cowboy. what they he's call a ranch rodeos. He's a cowboy? He's a real he's a cowboy? He's a full-blown cowboy, isn't he? How yeah, he's he's a legit cowboy. He's got this type of hat or no? No, he doesn't wear that hat. <laughs> Why no, not? Not a cowboy, then. Uh, he's a, 
I don't know. Anyway, he doesn't wear cowboy hats. That he will when he does his rodeo stuff. But Whoa. if I were to go out to the Why farm right now, he's got a rodeo. baseball cap. We better watch it. What he's saying is you're a fugazi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 you're false, yeah. Tony. Oh, yep. I've just... never, I haven't seen his brother ever on the email chain uh, for cowboys. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we chase cows. Are we going to do that next year or no? You're more than welcome. I'll let you know when. It's in August. I don't know exactly what weekend yet, but in August. Hey, last year I feel like you teased a uh, potential comeback. Are you still in shape? Are we playing for the Packers next year or what? The NFC Championship two years in a row. Maybe one more, one or two more weapons we get to the Super Bowl again. Uh, no, I'm not coming back. No, come on. Come on. Do it. Why not? You haven't, got, you haven't got the itch to maybe catch, catch a few more TDs from Raj. He's, yeah. he's playing pretty good right now. He is, but it's I'm probably good. His I, last year I'm with happy the with where too. I'm at. <laughs> I just sent AJ a video of what we were doing last night, so then I'd have to miss out on that stuff. Family? Uh, we burned about probably 600 acres of pasture last night until <laughs> 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Be careful. Burn it down! <laughs> Is it like you? Does the whole town come out for that? I mean, what is it a is it a festival to burn down six hundred acres? Um, there is probably ten of us. Yeah, a bunch of our friends come out. We're on four wheelers and side by sides with water tanks in the back and um, dragging fire through the pasture and putting it out. <laughs> Couldn't do that if you're playing for the Packers. No. no. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. So sorry to interrupt. Hi! Did you know at the age of 30, your testosterone levels start dropping 1% per year? Wow! 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 That means you're gonna get fatter, more tired, and lose the strength that you once Hi! had. But no worries, our friends at Roman have the perfect product for you. So you can get back to banging weights, banging humans, and living your best life. $15 off right now. GetRoman.com forward slash USA. Back to the action. Hey! Nah. <laughs> I probably actually did do it while I was playing for the Packers. But, um, you know, it's off season. But there's other what things. No, I'm happy with where I'm at. It's good to be back home. We fi uh, finally got our house kind of complete and moved in. And, Congrats. You know, on to the next chapter. Hey, Jordy, I know you're dialed in still to everything going on in Green Bay, the front office. You're tight with all of them. When are they going to get this deal done like, and sign A-Rod to an extension? Yeah, it's like a 10-year yeah. deal. Jordy, Seriously. out there in Kansas, Jordy. are they reporting to you and then letting us know or what? No. Um, I don't know what they're doing. Um, yeah, I, I can't answer any of those questions. <laughs> it's it's mind-blowing sometimes, especially, I mean, when he comes out and has an MVP year um, and um, if they don't want to commit or do whatever they want to do to – I mean, I don't know, show appreciation or whatever it is for him the next few years. Seems like it'd be a pretty easy and simple move that I would say 100%, if not 99.9% .9 of people would agree with. So I don't know where they can't be worried about a backlash or anything. So the business side of the NFL is something if you're in the nfl obviously experience if you're in the nfl long enough you experience it a lot more than everybody and i think with the world we live in i got a chance to talk to channing crowder about this earlier who he literally said like i was only in the nfl to make money like that is the only reason why i was there and some people will scoff at that because it's like you know, no love of the game but the nfl they're only in the business to make money as well like that yeah. that's all they're doing as well the business side of it behind the scenes and obviously you moved on from the packers that is something that you can't really fully understand until you're right in the middle of it when you are the cow that is being auctioned or talked about well you know could sit on the shelf for a little bit longer has a couple uh nicks here it's not worth this it is a fascinating business to say the least it is and like i like, i 100 agree with what you said not only once you're in the business you notice it but the longer you're in it you notice it even more um not only as a player but even my wife experienced it as we were going through different things in green bay not even just being released at the end of my career just different contract negotiations and whatnot. And I actually went in and sat with um, the head contract negotiator with Green Bay when I did my last deal there, just because I wanted to experience it. I wanted to hear um, exactly what they were saying and not from my agent, because no matter what they said to him, it was going to be portrayed to me in a different manner, no, how, no matter how he tried to say it. It's, it's better to hear it straight from them. So um, The horse's mouth, <laughs> cowboy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting, though. It's... <laughs> It's very mind-blowing sometimes, and um, but it's, it's, I guess it's their business. 
It's Pawn Stars, but with humans involved. Ty, what do you have? Jordy, uh, so have you been able to play as much softball as of late? Like, are things opened up with you? You got tournaments every weekend, or are you, are you just, you know, taking practice swings uh, out yeah. back by the barn? Has Kansas opened up? Are we back? Did we beat COVID over there in Kansas? Um, Kansas is opening up, but the benefit of re- living in rural America, um, it never really shut down. So... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, when you're burning like 600 summer, acres. Yeah, sure. No played rules. baseball all summer. We played slow pitch softball all summer. Um, not much really changed for us during the summertime. Our kids have been in school all year, starting in August, haven't missed the day. So um, that's the benefit of living out here in the country, and um, we took advantage of it. Let's make sure we write that down in uh, history books for later. Yeah. Those who live in isolation, pretty good spot when pandemic hits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just living out in isolation out mm-hmm. there. You kind of nowhere. Yeah, because it's hard to get, you know, COVID, I don't maybe we'll find out later that it does have its own private plane and it can True. go to places without right. the human so. human thing. But that does seem like a, quite an upside to live out in the middle of nowhere in Kansas. What do you have there, Nick? Uh Jordy, I just want to say you have a really magnificent head of hair right now. Oh, yeah. Uh when you played, you always had this like tight crop buzz cut. <laughs> mm-hmm. Is it because like AJ and Clay were like, We have to have the best hair on the team. You can't do that. You gotta cut your hair. <laughs> and Aaron. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you get kind of threatened when you walk in the locker room and you see those guys. Um, I understand. So you kind of keep it clean cut and short. Um, I was very low maintenance when I played and didn't want to deal with it. We had a cold spell here in Kansas when, like, Texas locked down with all the freezing. We were negative 15 degree temperature, so I let my hair grow out a little bit. And then we're like, well, there's no better time now to try out my first hairdo at the age of 35. So <laughs> I wouldn't have it done a little bit. So. <laughs> Jordy, you are – such an interesting guy. So yeah. good at football. Just yeah. the way you've – did you know that two-thirds of guys experience noticeable hair loss by the age of 35, which is what you just said? That's very, very interesting yeah. that, that happened. What Truly. do you think, Connor? Uh, yeah, Jordy, um, you've known AJ a long time. You know, he smokes 80 cigars a day. He has a bunch of kids. He drives with two feet. He's from He's Ohio. Antisocial. He He's, will leave people whenever you, you don't have a phone. Yeah, he'll go right. to the Masters alone. So my question for you is, is AJ Hawk the fucking weirdest guy you've ever met? Uh, <laughs> or is he just kind of another run-of-the-mill guy? Um, not because he wants to be alone, but uh, sometimes his mind goes in different directions that some people can't uh, comprehend. Oh, um, and I don't know if all yeah. that's been portrayed on this show, but... Uh, That's one of the best things about knowing him and Aaron and watching this show is all the little behind the back door, like little puns or jokes that AJ try to like jabs that he takes at Aaron that I'm pretty sure no one else knows unless you've been around the two of them for the last 15 years, um, which makes it even more comical because you can see it on AJ's face when he says it. And you can see it on Aaron's face when he tries to answer the question. They both are on the same page and no one else knows what's going on well that's really good for a show that's being watched (laughs) by a lot of people that potentially weren't with either of them for the last 15 years. Yeah, that time he just put his hands up at the camera and yeah. Aaron just shook his head and we had no idea what the hell they were talking about. Uh, AJ also oh, tried to uh, was, start a Ryan Phillippe thing. Yeah. 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 Oh, I mean, yeah. it was an entire... I was When Aaron put his hands up, Jordy will know, I was referencing his hairy knuckles and hairy hands I always make fun of him for. Well, listen, he's a man out there. You think yeah, he's... Cool. Hey, do you watch Jeopardy? You a Jeopardy watcher? He is crushing it. And by the way, he's getting... <laughs> these last couple games have been his absolute scene. best performances. Uh, to be honest, I have not watched any of his episodes yet. We were on vacation for the last 10 days and got back last night. And like I said, then burned past you. So um, I do need to figure out how to catch up on all his episodes. But I talked to him before uh, his shows came, I guess, live or showed up on TV after he did um, the tapings and everything. He was super excited about it. And sh- shocking to nobody is he said he sat there in the hotel and watched Jeopardy all day long to try to figure out how Alex Trebek, like, read the questions and transitioned into the next thing. Like, he did a full-blown film study, like, listened to his tone of his voice and everything. So, I mean, not shocking to me at all that he did that. But, um, yeah, I look forward to somehow re-watching him online or something. Are you a normal Jeopardy watcher? No. If I do, I get, like, one question right, maybe, if I'm lucky. So it's not really that enticing to to watch i know whenever you're bailing hay and stuff it's tough to watch mm-hmm. jeopardy every single night because you know the sun is still up so what That's are we right. doing yeah are we working yeah. or not uh i am a jeopardy watcher though 
and all the other guest hosts, you could tell that they were probably told like, hey, don't don't try to be like Trebek, kind of put your own spin on it or whatever. And they kind of seemed a bit clunky or whatever. Aaron went in there and was like, uh, we have a blueprint for who's the best host of this show of all time. I'm gonna go ahead and be this guy and still put my own spin on it. He has been the most smooth host of this whole thing. Now he said he wouldn't retire to do it at least yet or whatever. So I don't know how they're gonna figure that out, but I hope he gets the gig full time somehow. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Um, I think that'd be something that obviously he would really enjoy doing. And it'd be kind of crazy to see. That'd be one heck of a transition from football to Jeopardy host. Jordan, do you watch movies or anything? Or are you just out there in the farm all day? I don't watch much for movies. Uh, if it's if it's if I'm watching something, it's probably either football or college basketball or golf, and that's about it. But for the most part, we're outside doing something. Do you know Carson Wentz? Yes. You guys might be the same people. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not I, I, I've never met somebody. Listen, I played at West Virginia. Know a lot of farmers. Okay, got a chance to meet a lot of farmers. Got a chance to go experience the farm life and everything like that. But I feel like Jordy and I've only got a chance to chat with you a couple times here when you so graciously give us your time out in the middle of the day when you could be, you know, potentially feeding the chickens or whatever the hell's going on out there. The, it feels like you are very okay with being completely like distance from everything were you always like that like as a player and how do you know what's going on out there or was it just like you didn't really care it didn't matter because it was just kind of out of your world no we're very comfortable being back here in kansas um like in the middle of nowhere some people would say um I said earlier. we don't need the big city we don't need the fancy food or restaurants or hotels or anything um i don't know i like i like the simple life so it definitely um fits us well when i got into the nfl it was a little bit different for me a lot of i don't know Adrian would remember this or not but one of our trainers always jokes that like the first couple of years i would never talk and i was su super quiet and just kind of kept to myself and everything until i get more and more comfortable with you so uh it's just i don't know when you're born and raised out here this is kind of where you want to be and then obviously i have three kids and i don't want them to grow up to be spoiled brats so they got to work <laughs> Put them on a the farm, dude. Hell yeah. Hey, go tackle some cows and tie them up. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need Absolutely. to get on that horse. You're a good horse rider, huh? You're very good on, on the back of a horse? I wouldn't say very good. I can manage it. I can rope a little bit. Um, I can be productive, but definitely not a, not a, not a pro about it. Are you going to get on one when you come out here, or are you going to be a little nervous? No chance of me getting on a horse. AJ got one on one. Yeah. I can, hey, I we got a great picture. I helped him out. Now, yeah, Jordy, we should show you this picture, Pat. I, got, I was on a horse a couple years ago, and Jordy was had the lead and was leading me because I couldn't ride it by myself. That's what I'm saying. You, you can't trust these things, okay? These big-ass dogs, okay? They got the power <laughs> to do whatever the hell they want. Girl in our high school got paralyzed from a horse because somebody honked on the way by. Oh, jeez. So I'm like, well, I know what I'm never doing, and it's that particular thing. The My fact, cousin, yeah. yeah, people just hop on, yeah, Diggs is related. People hop on the back of wild horses. Do you do that out there? Not wild horses, these are trained horses. I got four nieces that all ride horses. They do little rodeos, and they're 10 and under. Oh, what are you saying? Okay, I don't, listen, relax. Okay, I heard just what you just- challenge. Did. Yeah, I just heard you there. Okay, <laughs> maybe a bull. I'll get on a bull. Ooh. Why would you Why would you get on a bull <laughs> rather than a horse? That makes zero sense. <laughs> Let me tell you why. <laughs> okay, because a horse, the expected outcome is a positive one. You know, so if I get up there and something bad happens, it's like, look at this guy, can't even ride a horse. There's, I got four nieces who's less than 10 years old. You hop on a bull, everybody knows it's ending bad. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows it's ending bad. So I know it's ending bad. Everybody knows it's ending bad. There's no real expectation. There's no, like, I'm not going to be able to sleep because of how bad I was on the horse when there's 10-year-old nieces of Jordy Nelson that are able to hop over thing. With the bull, I'm just going in there and I'm trying to get eight seconds, you know, so I can get that belt buckle out there. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I mean, that actually somewhat makes sense. You're just playing, everything's going to be a positive coming out of that. No negative there. Bingo. Unless I, you know. Yeah. yeah. Unless, you're, unless you're dead. <laughs> okay. Let's I mean, that's the, that's the negative that can come out of it. I mean, yeah. Risk yeah. reward. What do you want? It just depends on what, how you look at it. Is there like chill bulls or are they all pretty pissed off? Um, we could, we could get you on a chill one. We can make it look real scary. So uh, people do bull ride out where you're from, yeah? Do what? There is bull riding out where you're from on a regular basis. That's like something the boys do. Like, hey, want to go shoot hoops? Nah, nah go, go ride a bull. Let's go bull ride. No. They're, no. 
What do you mean? You'd go to a rodeo to ride a bull. You don't just hop on a bull for fun. How do they practice? Probably on some machine. Oh, see, I'm big anti those machine things. Yeah. Yeah, pretty- I am too. Those are that's not realistic at all. Oh, so you've rode a bull? No, but I just tell like they control it. So yeah, it's a creepy the joystick, guy. They do a good job mm-hmm. of like slowly, you know, guiding you in there, yeah. making you feel good, and then they could dump you in two seconds. Getting the rocks off while they're doing it. Yeah, some weird drunk guy in the corner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wait till you see what nice. this is. This is cool. Yeah, bang! Right in the face to the back of the bull. <laughs> Jordy, thank you for your time, man. I can't thank you enough for joining us. You're the best, dude. So I got you. You're you on your. You guys bring your own team for the rodeo, or are you you on my team? Well, I I feel like I would be. Quite we need a, to be on your team. No, 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 AJ. We do not want to be on his team. What yeah. is your team? Jo- what, hey, what? bro, Jordy's the fastest guy within like 150 miles of that area. Yes, we need him on our team. Probably far than that. I would assume it, my bad. A thousand within, miles. Uh, yeah, easily the state probably. So what do we do? We're We'd be on a team. We wear the same uniforms. We just chase down cows. What are we doing? <laughs> so what I sent AJ the video of, so there's three people on a team. Last year, it was me, a buddy, and my niece. And then uh, they put, like, say, 10 steers with lead ropes on them, halters and ropes on them. Dick, don't say, run uh-huh. down. He doesn't know. What does that mean? <laughs> the cowboy just said, uh-huh, there. So he could be documented as on the record of saying, uh-huh. What does that mean? What did you just say there? What? Ten <laughs> the steer? Ten steer, spears? Steers. Steer. So a steer. Oh, boy. This is going to get AJ all on the wrong side here. So a steer is a bull without nuts. What happened? You... You get rid of the nuts so they can't breed cows. And you cut cut them out. Oh, yeah. so no. spayed or neutered. Exactly. Your dogs, Bob Barker's been saying it a long time. So we got a we got a nutless bull, okay, who's been spayed or neutered. There's how many of them? Depending on how many teams are in there, there's probably about ten of them running around in the pen. And we're trying to run and jump on their backs. You grab the lead rope that so they have a halter like on their face, and then a rope that comes off. So like, you could actually lead them around if they were really tame and then you have to catch one and walk it to a circle and you before you get in the circle though one of your teammates has to be on the back of the bull or the steer okay so that would be me you guys will catch i'll do the fly jump on the back thigh and i'll just hold on i mean yeah if you want he didn't watch the video obviously jordy no i i can tell what do you mean i watched i seen a bunch of people run a bunch of cows moving what are we talking about what did i see is that the person that gets You just have, yeah. We'll explain it when you get here. You'll see it. We'll, we'll watch the film before we go. Smart, like Aaron did for Jeopardy. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Jordy Nelson. Yay! Jordy's the best, dude. He is so cool. It feels like I am talking to somebody that lives on a different planet. You know what I mean? Out there in the middle of Kansas. What a, he was a freak in the NFL for Oh, yeah. A freak in the oh. NFL for a long time. Now he's just out there burning down acres. Crushing softballs. I don't want my kids to be soft either, so get out there and, hey, tackle some of them steers.